All right, I'm kind of in the heat of it back here in the kitchen at Village Bagel, and I'm standing here with Connie Leaf and Ty Edwards, and they're getting their morning process going. So, Connie, what are you doing this morning? Hey, Maddie, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Making our house chips. Yep. The house chips, the famous bagels. Yep, Ty's making bagels over here. He's dropping it in the kettle and uh, baking them in our four-shelf rotating deck oven. We got Wilker back here, scrambling up eggs. And the ladies are making drinks. Wow, so you've just got like all hands on deck right now. And yeah, we do. So what exactly is he doing to the bagels? Okay, so this is the quintessential uh, touch that a traditional bagel has. It is boiled in our, um, in our malt water and then it is baked. And the boiling actually allows the bagel to have that nice spongy center, that nice chew. And it's a step that a traditional bagel has, and you can't really call yourself a bagel if you don't boil. That's what we believe. <laughs> I mean, you do. I, like, I will totally attest to this. You guys have the best bagels Thank you. in the county, Thank probably you. in the state. So now what Ty is doing is he's seeding the bagels with poppy seeds, and he's putting them on these burlap boards. And what we do is we get those boards wet so that the seeds stick. And then he double seeds, double sides the seeds. That's a classic uh, touch that we do. That those are chipotle gouda bagels. Yeah. Those are killer. The Coloradans love that spicy touch. It's not really a New York traditional bagel, but I'll give it to you, Coloradans. <laughs> I mean, we do love our spicy food here. Yeah, you do. So what's going on now is the bagels are going into that oven, and they'll cook on one side on the burlap for the first half. And then Ty will flip them, pull the burlap out, and they'll evenly cook on the other side, wow. like a traditional bagel. So about all in all, how long does the process of making a bagel go? So our bagels actually take three days to make, but the boiling and baking part, the final touch, is only about 10 minutes. Wow. So it's that slow, old world, developed flavor, no preservatives, no chemical additives, um, nothing artificial in our bagels, but we use time to build flavor. I mean, a lot of love are going into the bagels here oh, at... A lot of love. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> at Village Bagel. A lot of love and a lot of time and a lot of soul. You know, there's other bagel... There's other bakeries um, in the area, and they say they have bagels, but they're not making a real traditional bagel. Um, we're the only bagel shop in the whole county, and we're right here in Edwards, so we're really proud of that. And so, then where are your fabulous schmears made? Do you guys make those here in the kitchen yeah. as well? We also make our schmears here in-house. Um, we whip them nice and smooth and velvety, so they're just good on every bagel. Seriously. Yeah, they're so good. If you've never had a bagel here at Village Bagel, like, you need to put it on your bucket list immediately. Get over here. <laughs> Seven to two. We're here. And you guys just started making pizzas, too. Yep. So we're more than just bagels. We do pizzas in the afternoon. And it's the same um, three-day slow old world process for our dough. It's a different dough. Um, but we, um, we bake it here in-house with a lot of love and nothing artificial. So those are full of flavor as well. We do bagels and schmear in the morning, pizza and beer in the afternoon. That's kind of our tagline. And, I mean, you guys do a fabulous French toast as well. Oh, my gosh, that French toast is killer. Yes. <laughs> it is so... Kind of the talk of the town right now, i got to be honest. Yeah, no, it's like legendary French toast. So if you're looking for a great place to come and have breakfast on this perfect morning to sit outside in the sun and enjoy it, then stop by Village Bagel and see these wonderful people who are loading their food up with love. Coming up next, we are going to take a look at some summer necessities with the Gear Up segment.